Today is World Plastic Surgery Day and joining us in the studio is Dr. Karishma Kagod who is a plastic and a cosmetic surgeon in Bangalore. Karishma, cosmetic surgery, it's um, a topic that people have a lot of questions about, a lot of apprehensions about. Why don't you start by telling us, uh, give us an overview on plastic and cosmetic surgery. Given that India has such a history with surgery, so Shruta is considered to be the founder of surgery. But uh, what we're talking about today is more aesthetic and of course plastic. So tell us about this in simple words for our audience. So for everyone listening to this, a plastic surgery is what I call a multifaceted medical speciality, more like a head to toe profession, which encompasses both cosmetic surgeries as well as reconstructive surgeries. So when we talk about cosmetic surgeries, we all know whether it's a nose job or a liposuction, but reconstructive surgery is like the founding basic of plastic surgery. And uh, it starts from a burn surgery, trauma reconstruction, post cancer reconstruction, so head to toe, hand or feet, anywhere in the body there is a tissue loss and needs to be repaired, reconstructed, we have to do the reconstructive procedures. So that forms the entire part of plastic, reconstructive and aesthetic surgery. That's I the whole thing. I believe you're one of the fewer surgeons that does all of these. Well, I do all of these, but in the last five years since I started and founded my daycare center in Bangalore, I'm purely focusing on aesthetic surgeries, but I do reconstructive procedures related to uh, child deformities. So mm. a child born with a cleft lip, a gap in the lip, a cleft palate, um, a young child with an underdeveloped ear, what we call medically microtia, but for the common people, the understanding is the underdeveloped or a missing year. Hmm. So we reconstruct it using the child's own tissue and create a new year in stages. So that's what plastic reconstructive surgery is all about. Where is your clinic in Bangalore? So we are Dr. Karishma Aesthetics and we are located on 11th Main Road at Indranagar. You're on Bangalore. socials, I'm guessing. Uh, sorry? Are you on social media as well? Yes, yes. So I am Dr. Dot Karishma Kagod on Instagram and on we have Dr. Karishma Aesthetics YouTube channel. And uh, we have a new branch which we opened in Whitefield oh. in association with Kinder Women's Hospital last year. And uh, would you want to spell your full name for us? Uh, I know it's a tricky <laughs> one, the way it's written and the way it's pronounced. So it's Dr. Karishma Kagod. So Kagodu is a village uh, close to Sagar uh, where my father is from and I'm from Kagod. So that's why it's Karishma Kagod. <laughs> Doctor, tell us what are the myths around uh, plastic surgery, especially um, aesthetics? Because recovery and reconstruction is a requirement. Aesthetic isn't necessarily one, it's a choice that people make. Right. What do you think are the biggest um, myths or misconceptions around this? So in my idea to clear these misconceptions are because these misconceptions, mis, you know, especially when we have the whole internet scope, you know, it misleads people to believe so many things, you know, Plastic surgery is only about vanity. Plastic surgery is only for cosmetic reasons. So uh, just to clear that, as we just discussed, plastic surgery has an entire range of reconstructive procedures, trauma surgeries, cancer surgeries, breast reconstruction, post-breast cancer, where we reconstruct a new breast, we recreate a new breast. So that is also plastic surgery. And let me tell you one thing, everything in reconstructive has an aesthetic component. Because if I'm repairing a child's lip, yeah. recreating a child's ear, I'm constructing a hand who ha for someone who's had a blast injury and I'm going to recreate their fingers or a palm, I'm also going to do it with cosmetic reasons. Sure. I'm going to make sure they can not just achieve function, so functionality is one thing. Mm. With function, I want the hand to look good. Yeah. I want the lip to look beautiful. Whatever I have reconstructed has to be aesthetic. Mm. So aesthetic and reconstructive for a plastic surgeon goes hand in hand. Mm. So the public needs to know that they are all entwined with each other. Mm. When I do a cosmetic surgery, yes, it's purely cosmetic. Yes. But there is my reconstructive basis. If I am augmenting a mm. breast, I am doing a nose job that nose is almost getting reconstructed again. It's, it's getting right in the middle of your again. face. It better be aesthetic. <laughs> Rhinoplasty is a tricky one, right? It's a tricky one. It's the center of the face and the smallest tweak and change in the center of the face, you know, really gives, changes the face profile to a large extent. So as I say, 
cosmetic surgery is not just for vanity it is for self confidence for many people it improves functionality for a woman with very large breast we do a breast reduction she's not only concerned about looking good on her breast so or her chest it's got medical uh, but it's got medical aspect it's got functional aspect they suffer from skin infections back pains neck pains so there are various cosmetic procedures with a reconstructive background and having function as well as cosmetics so it's not just for vanity and it's not just for celebrities it is for anyone who desires to be in a certain way and want to be a certain way what's wrong with vanity karishma what if it's purely <laughs> an aesthetic and a which is amazing i mean but it's not just about that so myth is like it's only for celebrities hmm. people say it's just for vanity no for some people it's beyond vanity if it is for vanity great i mean you know to each its own to each its own that's why i say you know don't judge someone for wanting to do anything in life for the matter now a lot of people say it's for celebrities because a their job is public and they have right. to look a certain way but it's also considered to be quite expensive now uh, what do you want to maybe tell us about um, the monies that go and we're not looking at numbers but is it as expensive as people assume it to be because that's also a mind block that comes with cosmetic and Absolutely. plastic surgery yes so uh reconstruction people will still put the funds together but for purely cosmetic reasons people want to have that kind of disposable income is it extremely right. expensive in india is it cheaper than it is across the world can you throw a little perspective on that for right. us so of course definitely if you look at india it is much reasonable than if you go to the America or Europe or the Middle East mm. but um, let me tell you it is a super speciality plastic surgery just like neurosurgery a liver surgery and yes for your cardiac surgery you will yeah. pay you will do whatever yeah, it takes because it is needed and it is something to survive to live on whereas plastic surgery when you're doing cosmetic it's more of a desire and it's a want not a need but i believe it is comparable to any super speciality surgery which is available today in india and probably even less than a neurosurgery or a cardiac heart surgery hmm so but one has to know that i am spending that money on my body and it's a transformative change your life your body is going to transform with that one step so if i can spend lakhs of rupees uh on buying jewelry i think to wear it on that body i think <laughs> i would can spend even one tenth of that on something you really want to be and spend it on your body because you're going to take it for life you know plastic surgery is permanent which is the most popular plastic surgery in india today i think liposuction and rhinoplasty it's a risky one rhinoplasty are people actually taking to it, it? It's i mean it's risky because, when you know, so it's important we all believe and i think as a society the plastic surgery society uh there ha you know we see a lot of patients who come to us who have sometimes a bad nose job or have read something about botched surgery i mean uh public whoever is hearing please see the good stuff about plastic surgery read uh, the important information which has a scientific background mm. now we have an indian association of aesthetic plastic yes. surgeons an international society of aesthetic plastic surgeons where it's by the plastic surgeons written by plastic surgeons for not just us but for the media mm. for the patient who's looking for a procedure please go on to authentic websites like these and read authentic information about the cosmetic procedure you want to do find your authentic plastic surgeon to do it how and, does one find an authentic plastic surgeon uh, so there are a lot i've had a lot of patients come to me who have done plastic surgery from a non plastic surgeon so it could be any general surgeon it could be any one hmm. so we have specialized and even in plastic surgery each plastic surgeon specializes in something undergoes training so please make sure they are both certified they are part of national international societies research about that surgeons hmm. training in that particular surgery hmm. where they have trained from the kind of work they do it's not just looking at a before and after picture google reviews yes hmm. find your plastic surgeon on these websites i mentioned find them they are all board certified and only then reach that level and they all have the exquisite training hmm. to be plastic surgeon and beyond i have traveled in more than 5 countries only to do fellowships after my plastic surgery in aesthetic surgery in various aspects now you talk about traveling across the world i believe south korea is the place that gets most number of plastic surgeries have we got that right yes yes south korea is huge colombia colombia was America, on my list greece italy brazil and i just went to colombia for a 
conference in fact last month <laughs> i was checking which country has the most number of plastic surgeons india does feature india does feature in the top 5 Yeah. In fact, I think it's top three. Uh, it's it's at number six, is what my data yeah. tells me. Yes. But top three is still big. Yes, yes, because so one is our population. <laughs> Clearly, we're winning all those uh, we're winning competitions. All those, uh, yeah. Check boxes. Yeah, but yes, and uh, we have one of the highest memberships in the International Society of Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons. I think the doctor community in India is anyway huge. It's the pool anyways is huge, massive, and the surgeon community is huge. Plastic surgeons are one of the highest numbers in our international society global surveys, and um, it's a huge. Um, today, um, people are coming from across the world to India to get their I plastic surgery. I was just surgeries. coming to that because medical tourism is such a huge thing it's in it's India huge. today. Yes, and I know that in India most treatments are much cheaper than they are abroad. And it's not just about being cheaper. Good See, quality there, as well. There, there is good quality. We have every technique and the technology that we are using is on par to international standards. So. Plastic surgery is a constantly evolving, evolving field of technique and technology and India today and most of the top plastic surgeons today in India have advanced their techniques and we have the most international technology available. In my clinic, I was one of the first 5 years back to launch the latest liposuction device which was mm -hmm. not in Karnataka, but we launched it 5 years back with my clinic. and various other technologies so for me it's educating people that we have this in india today people are coming from across the world to india not just because it's cheaper but there are quality plastic surgeons in india and they're seeking for that quality i don't think quality with doctors was ever a concern in india i've been told by friends and family but abroad but in cosmetic surgery oh, there was always a stream. myth ah. that we don't want to do it in india, india. it's not still advanced and mm. people still went abroad till recently mm. i've had a lot of uh, clients come to me says we bad thought, job there fix no, it here and now they are believing because we are educating them that we have all of that mm. is available mm. whether it's the education system the knowledge the conferences that we attend to update our knowledge we're bringing all of it back here we have state mm. of the art clinics which are set up today of international standards so no one needs to take an expensive flight i don't think so out. unless they want to hide what they are doing <laughs> <laughs> unless they want to hide unless. what they this is telling me i just out of curiosity with plastic surgeons do you guys have a no disclosure understanding with the patient or is yes. it signed that we can't discuss what you don't even talk about the patients that come to you right yes we cannot. cannot i mean that is part of every patient doctor confidentiality that we cannot discuss no i mean the, the details but you i'm guessing with you all it's even more secretive because people who come in perhaps i mean if i go to a liver doctor i don't mind him telling yeah. someone i've come no so uh, usually you know plastic surgery we we believe a lot into photography we take our pictures before pictures mm. the results and the after so many patients could be apprehensive and mm. they are clear to us so we have a consent form about photography and videography mm. uh which could also tick mark check box a lot of boxes it could be are they okay for website are they okay for social media are they okay we talk to other patients about them are they just okay with us using it for our medical journals and for scientific purposes and research mm. so they tick the boxes and we you know keep their uh we respect them and respect their decision to keep it's it anonymous in. yes details. it's anonymous details tell me do is it is it a myth that women get more treatments than men or are men also getting a lot of aesthetic cosmetic treatments no it's done? not a myth it's a fact i mean majority see women we always want to look good <laughs> and we always are conscious about the way we are so majority of my patients and i think most plastic surgeons are women what's the ratio so of it, women to I men i think it used to be for me when i started my a decade back it was 90 10 mm -hmm. the ratio today it's uh, 70 30 Yeah. So more and more changing. men are also mm. uh, taking care of themselves. They want to look good and you know. And what's the, the most popular age bracket Karishma in your experience of people coming in for surgeries? Again, that is changing. It's shifting. It used to be 30 plus, 35 plus, even up to 65, 70. I have operated. And now on I have a 19 year old walking into my clinic or an 18 year old. Is it recommended though? Uh I wouldn't say ethically personally every plastic surgeon may have a different sure. viewpoint my personal ethics tell me i think one should wait for any surgery above 21 21 unless okay. it is functional driven true unless it is having a psychological uh, backstop 
person is having psychological distress emotionally distressed due to the issue mm. even though it's cosmetic it can play a huge influence on their psyche of course so for even a nose job for a girl could be extremely undermined in public mm. she gets self conscious a uh, very underconfident and sometimes a nose job just changes the whole perspective you know karishma and this, this nose is such job a job could be not for a normal nose i'm saying a deformity nose deformity is a whole yes. other discussion yes. but you know this whole plastic surgery uh, world can can kick up such a debate because people you know with this trend of people saying just be comfortable with who you are in your skin how does a plastic surgeon look at it because that's the trend today people are about size about color if, about if you if it, the, i don't think first of all the name body shaming should be taken out you know because if you are comfortable with the way you are please be and you must be happy that way and i totally promote it internal and external happiness and all of that i totally believe if one is happy the way they are stay that way but do not judge mm. another person who believes that they want to tweak something about themselves and personally speaking if tomorrow as age comes to me if i believe i need to do some procedures to make myself feel the way i want to feel i would be very open about it and i will do it because i believe in my profession and i believe it was there for a reason it is there for a reason and it's only As per the global survey 2023 by International Society, mm -hmm. India is showing in the top 10 of countries with the highest uh, plastic cosmetic surgeries oh, really? and the rate of growth. We are coming fifth growth rate, population, plastic everything. surgeries. I think in everything, everything India is every on an upward. We are on an upward, yeah. whether it's economy, yeah. whether it's all of that. And again, with the economy growth, yes. people are keeping that disposable fund, as you said, aside for themselves. That this is my life, and I want to do what I want to do. But yes, the Gen Z and the social media scares me. Also, takes me aback. Also. like when i have someone at 19 telling me they want a botox I i'm not keen about it and sometimes i don't do it and there are a lot of times i say no come back after some and, years and uh, if i believe that this is not the right time or the patient does not require it i'm very clear to say no to a patient karishma articulate precise and before i let you go would you please remind all of us what the name of your clinic is where it is and how people can contact you So Dr Karishma Aesthetics is in Indranagar 11th Main Road and we also have a branch with Kinder Women's Hospital at Whitefield and you can get in touch to us DM us on our Instagram profile dr.karishmakagod or uh, just call us through our website at our clinic and uh, we are available all the time obviously we close on Sundays I don't like to work on Sundays Good. <laughs> but uh, yes meet us on our YT channel that's Dr Karishma Aesthetics Instagram Facebook and uh, look it up on our www.kaesthetics.in which is our website and you can get in touch with us doc i've heard from surgeons across the board that they listen to music in their surgery rooms do absolutely yes right <laughs> what can i play you you've come to a radio channel i should be able to play you at least one song that you perhaps like or you've performed the surgery to performed the surgery to oh my god this morning i was listening to um elton john remix So and that's how do I you started listen to like easy today. breezy music or is it's it It's the mood of the day it can mm. suddenly be retro it can suddenly be even Kishore Kumar or it can suddenly be EDM <laughs> so I love music I love dancing and um, you know so uh, Anything, anything can i pick like, anything fun anything and dancing pick and anything for me <laughs> dan karishma thank you so much for joining us it was a pleasure thank you so and, much disha um, if people do contact us for your details we'll share it with them so happy i'm humble thank you for having me on thank the show you. disha thank you so much